brake caliper rubbers and swing arm shaft bolt spindle thing. It's all in. Let's put it back together. Revelator Elf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Elf. I hope you're all well. So yeah, I've got a few parts that have come through the post. So I'm going to put these calipers back together now uh, with these shaft rubbers. Uh, put the uh, brake pads back in, which have all arrived as well get them on the bike and uh, do a bit of reverse bleeding bish bash bosh and see if they work now if you remember with these uh, i uh, i replaced the seals the piston seals inside and i used the old pistons which were quite corroded uh, towards the end i still think that they'll be fine um, because on the inboard side, the inside of the seal side, if you like, it's still absolutely fine. However, I've got some other pistons just in case, but they're a little bit longer, which I would have to cut down because you just can't find this size piston. So I'm going to try it with these and see how it goes. Right, so first of all, I'm going to put this all back together, then get it back on the bike and see how we go front and rear. I'm also going to put the swing on back on with the new shaft bolt that comes in. Now, unsurprisingly, this shaft bolt, spindle, whatever you want to call it, uh, it actually uh, is suitable for many different models of bike. And I think that's actually applicable to uh, all motorcycle manufacturers as well. They have common parts, of course. And why wouldn't you? Because you know, it's more economical that way. Anyway, so this is going to go on. Grease, grease, grease all over. Get it all aligned. Get it all uh, tightened up on the engine mounts and uh, see how we go. The other thing I need to do then is just put the uh, rear shock absorber in and well, nearly time for start. So let me do this and uh, well, see how we go. Okay, uh, it's all put back together. The rubber seals are all on and uh, we'll see how we go. So quickly, basically, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is a caliper. It sits on top of uh, the brake disc. Now the brake disc goes in between the two sets of pads. So what happens is, as the brake fluid is pumped via your hand, it pushes the piston across, it pushes this plate across, and then it squeezes the two pads together. Essentially, that's what basically happens. So what we do, we just bring this out slightly, there we go, bring this out slightly, and then the pads will stay absolutely uh, like that. The disc goes in between, and then it will start pushing the pads together. This part here halt stops the pad from dropping off on the on the inside as it were and there there we go they got a braking efficiency as it were right uh anyway so that's one put back together uh now that's the front uh, one now i'm going to do the rear one right i'll do that and then i'll come back to you right done uh rear caliper done front caliper done all i need to do is put these on the bike but first i need to put the swing arm back on that thing there Right, let me do that. Right, prepare the shaft. Uh, loads of grease going on it. I've literally just test fitted it to make sure it is right one that goes all the way through. It does uh, a bit of a jiggery pokery with the uh, the engine just to manipulate it through because it's all about alignment because everything's uh, loose. Going to get that uh, that uh, swing arm on and then now uh, well tighten it up and see how we go. Right, <clears throat> I think it'd be fair to say with all the problems that I've had with this. Uh, the old uh, swing arm bolts, as it were, being completely seized. I think it's one of these regular service items. You take the swing arm off, give it a good old clean and a good old grease, you know. Right, let me get this on the on the bike. Beautiful. Right, let me just button this up, tighten everything up. On to the next step. Shock going on now. Okay, right, so uh, swing arm is on. It's nice and silky smooth, lovely. And uh, shock is on, that's all good. Brake calipers are all sorted, ready to go on. Just need to put the rear wheel on and the chain. Um, I'm gonna look at the length of the chain because I think uh, I, it might be too long. I think what they've basically done, they put a chain on and they haven't measured it correctly. Um, so what I'm gonna do, see how it goes uh i may come back to this uh, after i've ridden it and take a link out of a chain but that's for another video i'm sure right anyway let's get this wheel on and uh well see how we go okay so before i put the wheel on and i uh, get these chain tensioners on um 
what I'm going to do is actually put they basically came like this and they just slot into the swing arm and then you just tighten up the bolt and, and away you go and it pushes this out but what I don't like is that it's no, there's no locking nut on it. Uh, so I'm going to put another nut on it like that. Give it a good old grease or, you know, copper grease, whatever. And then stick it in there. Right, let me do that. Right, put a bit of grease on it. Bish, bash, bosh. In the bike it goes. I'll do the other one as well. Right, they're done. Uh, now, just to attack the spindle, which is actually in a shocking state. Let me clean this all up and put loads of grease on it as well. And then stick the wheel back on. So literally this is just a quick clean and then when I come to do the full strip down restoration if you will in the in the winter then I'll give these a proper going over and probably a lick of paint and all that kind of stuff. But for now, quick clean, quick grease and on they go. Nice, threads are cleaned. Right, grease goes on. Bish bash bosh, done. Now I'm also going to put a little bit of grease inside the, the bearings on the wheel as well and that will help it uh, actually be greased all the way through as you're pushing the spindle through. Let me do that. Okay, done, right. Let's put the wheel on. Let's not forget the spacer. Oh yeah. Okay, the wheel is on. Uh, I'm gonna put the chain on then tighten everything up and adjust everything. I haven't done the wheel bearings yet. They're still on order, but that's always gonna be a, a future job anyway. Uh, but for now, they're still fine. They're still fine, but I will be changing them. Right, uh, let's uh, put the chain on and put all this back together. And then we can bleed the brakes. Oh my God, what the? Okay, the bike continues to fight me. <laughs> I just got to put the chain on and totally my fault didn't even look at this but look at that uh, let me try and investigate what's going on here oh dear okay the uh, sprocket is now fixed or the the drive sprocket the front sprocket uh, no more wobbles basically I just had to shim it out a little bit and it's a bit worn there I think basically when I do the whole gearbox I've got a feeling I'm gonna have to uh, put out the uh, or change the whole output shaft or the counter shaft um, and I'm pretty sure I have to change one or two gears but that is for a winter project this is purely just to get this back on the road and let's uh, let's see how we go right next thing chain and then uh, square up the wheel let me do that okay uh, the chain is on uh, so all I need to do now is button up the engine make sure that's all square button up the wheel and well tidy everything up then it'd be brakes. Well, uh, that is it. That is the end of uh, the build. Well, not the end of the build, uh, but the, the end of me putting it back together. Uh, so swing arm's gone on, uh, rear wheel's gone on, and the all the engine mounts have been done, all the exhausts have been put back on now, and both brake calipers have been put on as well. So all that's left to do is put the fuel tank back on, the plastics, the battery, and uh, bleed the brakes, of course, and then fire it up. But I think I'll leave that for another video. And also give me a bit of time to figure out what the hell I've done wrong as well, because I'm sure I've done something wrong. But anyway, uh, then uh, what I'll do, I'll go and ride it as well, iron out a few little niggles, and then, well, go and have some fun, I suppose. We're getting there, we're getting there. Catch you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share, check out the website, revelatehalf.com. Ta-da. Thank you.